To measure the nearest quarter inch, first of all, you need to understand the ruler. And I've got a ruler right here on the screen for you to see. And everybody should already know, of course, where the inch marks are. These are inches right here. There's another inch, another inch. Now, <clears throat> think about what you know about fractions. First of all, what is a half inch? Where are the half inch marks? Well, this right here is zero, and this is one. And if this was a one inch line, which it is, halfway between these two lines, right in here, oh, let me move this down a little bit, it's not gonna let me mark there. Halfway between is about right there. So your half inch mark on your ruler is the big line right in the middle here, right in the middle. And this ruler doesn't have very big lines in the middle, but I'm sure your ruler probably has a little bit larger lines right in the middle. And then think about uh, what a fourth is compared to halves. Uh, if, this, if this is the halfway point, then a fourth is right here, and three fourths would be right there. So you have to find those lines on your ruler. There's a bunch of extra lines on most rulers that go past the fourths. You have the eighths line, the sixteenths lines. So one fourth would be, uh, let's move this over just slightly, one fourth would be the line right below this one here on the ruler, and the line right below that one is your three fourths. Now the next thing you need to know is when they tell you to measure to the nearest fourth of an inch, that could be one fourth of an inch, it could be two fourths of an inch, which is the same thing as one half, it could be three fourths, or you could even measure a line that equals one inch, because one inch is the same thing as four fourths. And so if a line measures exactly one inch, you can say that that is the nearest quarter inch or the nearest fourth inch. It does not have to have an answer that has one fourth on the end, like three and a fourth, or four and three fourths. It does not have to have that to be the nearest quarter inch. Anything that's even, like three or four or seven inches is the nearest quarter inch. Anything that has one fourth uh, on the end of it, three and a fourth, four and a fourth, seven and a fourth, that's the nearest quarter inch. Anything that's to the nearest half inch is also to the nearest quarter inch. So seven and a half is the nearest quarter inch. Anything that's three fourths on the end of your measurement is also to the nearest quarter inch or the nearest fourth inch. So let's go ahead and measure now. This, oh, didn't mean to do that. Let's undo that. I wanna get rid of my rectangle. Uh, undo, okay. Uh, we're gonna have to leave those purple marks on there. So let's put the ruler right here. Notice that I'm moving the ruler so that it starts with the zero right next to that. It's got a little bit of extra at the beginning that uh, I'm not lining up the edge of the ruler, but I'm putting the zero right on the edge of the line. And if you see down here, it's coming down to one, uh, excuse me, to four inches. So this side of my shape is exactly four inches, which means that this side over here is four inches as well. All right, now I'm gonna flip my ruler around. This might take me a second to do here. And make that 90 degrees, okay. And now I'm gonna measure the side of my rectangle. Put the zero right on there. And you look up here, one half inch, would be right in there, and but this is, here's two, and this is like halfway between two and two and a half. So that's actually two and one fourth right there. Let me get the ruler out of the way. So this side, this is becoming a mess here. Let me erase some of this, make it a little bit easier for us to see. Alrighty. And so this side is two and a fourth, and so is the other side over here, two and a fourth inches. Now, what if I needed to find the perimeter of this shape? I would simply add up four, two and a fourth, and another four. Add all four sides together, a fourth and a fourth is equal to two fourths. That's eight plus four is 12. 12 and two fourths, which is equal to 12 and a half. What if I, we wanted to find the area, the inside part of this shape right here? Well, we're gonna multiply the length times the width, of course, to find area. So I do four times two and one fourth. I cannot multiply mixed numbers in the state that they're in. 
So I have to change these into fractions. Four becomes four wholes, four ones. Two times four is eight. Eight plus one is nine. Nine fourths. I always keep that same denominator. And I've got a four here and a four there. I can cross cancel those. And that becomes a one and a one. And then I'm just simply doing one times nine is nine. One times one is one. Nine ones is equal to nine. So the area, oops, I should put inches on here. The area is nine square inches for the area of that rectangle.